There are three key principles that guide my life. Always treat others the way they want to be treated. Always give 100% in whatever you do. And if you're in northern Namibia and someone asks you if you want to buy a goat, always buy that goat. Tumalana, tumalana, ra tumalana, tumalana, tumalana. Tumalana, tumalana, ra tumalana, tumalana, tumalana. Naliwena. Tumalana, tumalana, ra tumalana, tumalana, naliwena. Tumalana, tumalana, ra tumalana, tumalana, tumalana. Keep it for me then, I'll give it from you when I'm inside again, okay? Boarding the bus to Namibia. Quick little breakdown, no big deal. We'll make it to Namibia eventually. And yeah. The mechanic is on his way from Klava. Alright? So I don't know how long he's gonna be my friend. So get out, have a smoke break. It's a nice spot to break down. It's a very nice view. Blowing a lot of smoke. They were sending a bus from Buntu to connect with you people again at the border. So in other words, you're gonna change over here. So I just got done doing some yoga. Apparently I was doing it pretty well and there were some people who were intrigued that came out to watch. Why did you come out? Yes, I, I, I enjoyed watch watching you doing that uh, on the road. It's not Everyone every day you see people space. doing that on the road. I'm just confused why he's so close to incoming traffic. I have warned him so many times to get off the side of the road and he refuses to do it. The sun is starting to set. I hope this replacement bus comes soon. What do you think everybody? Is there hope? It's coming? A couple of minutes from now. Replacement bus just arrived as the sun is finishing its setting and we'll be on our way soon. What's up everybody? We're at the border and our bus is not here. We're waiting again but I'm here with Ade. He is from Angola and he is a beast at roller skating. <laughs> He's about to show you some of his tricks. Audio production. Remy boy. Yeah. 1738. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Four hours later. So we got into Vinhook after a 28 hour bus ride that was delayed a couple times. Pretty much after that, I just had to be on social media and getting my fundraising page right for the Ninja Warrior episode that was airing. And then I stayed up until two to watch it. And you went to school on the course. Get your number two pencils out, take notes, while the pencils are at the sidelines. That is sharp. Got a decent amount of airtime, and then it ended at four. So now we're kind of getting a late start, probably just going to hang around here today and explore Vindhoek for a bit before we head to the coast. We're at the National Museum of Namibia, looking over the capital city. It's actually pretty small, smaller than Omaha, I would say. Pretty cool, beautiful church down there. I'm here at a little bar in Vindhoek, Namibia, and look what I see in the background there. It's actually a Nebraska license plate. It's a friend from Spain, Jordi. So we were told, we got to the, to the bus station, we were told that we'll leave just now, and down here just now means, I don't know what it means, <laughs> but we showed up about a quarter to nine, and right now, let's see, it's about 1.30. So, we waited a lot longer than the bus will actually take to get to Swakopee, I think it's about three and a half hours. But the good news is we're on the road, it's a nice day, and we're going to Swakopee, which is a, an awesome city on the coast. So it was a short four hour bus from Windhoek to Swakamoon and then we met with our hosts Jasana and Neil and Hugh had fun teaching their daughter A.A. the guitar. Hey. That was the best one yet! You didn't have to think about it, it was just all natural. And what is it exactly? It's omaire. Just call it sour milk in, in English and it's very tasty. So it's milk and they leave it out in the hot yeah. to get sour to get and sour, it's okay yeah. to drink. Yes, it's fine, it's healthy. 
It's healthy. Yeah, can you see I'm big man? <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> it's thick. Nice. But not bad. Just arrived to Dune 7. Not only the tallest dune in Namibia, it is the tallest in the world. <laughs> you broke the thing though. We're making bets on how long it'll take for us to climb up to the top. And Neil, what was your bet? Uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes, it was an hour before, now he's lowered it to 45. Mike, what was your bet again? I said 15. So, make a guess now and we'll see what happens. Yeah, 15. Do it, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. <laughs> I took about half an hour. Neil is a big no. Whoa, Mike's a confident whoa, whoa, whoa. yes. Under the take. Uh, uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Here's the deal. I was climbing to the top of this thing about two thirds up right now. I was getting really tired. And, you know, Mike and I were going to race. We were rushing. And I was just thinking, it doesn't make any sense. Why would we do that? Anything there's not about arriving. The journey is what's important, not the final destination. So you know what, Mike? You win. Congratulations. But I guarantee you that I had the most amazing hiking experience. There he is. I wonder how he's feeling. They said I couldn't do it. Been doubted all my life. I got Neil. He said, no chance you do it in under an hour. And I started talking. He lowered it to 45 minutes. I said, I can do that in 15, easy, easy money. Everyone down there, everyone down there said, not a chance, no way under 30. I did it in four, four minutes, baby. Four minutes up the tallest dune in the world. We out here, let's get it. So the sunset is just Amazing. over the horizon. We're about to head down and we had a little surprise. Neo is almost all the way up. What's up, Neo? <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Hashtag ninja time. So we are departing Swakamund with our amazing host, Neo. We stayed with him and his family for a few days. So here's the thing. We do have a super rough itinerary on what we think we could do to get to Kigali, but we're very open to that changing. And first place we went, it changed. So we planned on going to Windhoek and then going across Zimbabwe and staying in Bulawayo. But one of the people that we wanted to stay with in Namibia ended up going to the north to visit her family and she said we could join her. So super excited. We're gonna go to Onga, this rural village in northern Namibia and see village life for a couple days. We're boarding our minibus to go up north to northern Namibia where we're gonna see our new host Susan and her family. We've arrived and we have Susan! Finally in Vambuland, finally in Namibia, but first Vambuland, then Namibia. <laughs> So this song we're listening to right now is actually by an artist that's from, from this Anka. village. And what's he saying? I'm so grateful about today. And I feel free, I feel healthy, I feel I'm just free and Yeah, you know the vibe. I don't feel the vibe. James, we are yes. we are done cooking. You said. Yeah, we are done cooking now. We, and we're cooking right over there. Yeah, yes. What are we cooking? Cabbage, tomato. We put meat. You know, what, red meat. What kind of beef? Meat? Beef, 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 beef. It and will be smart, very nice. What is this dish called? Yeah, it's called uh, poiki. 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 Poiki cars. Poiki cars. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> and it's just a typical Sunday afternoon. Yes, yes, yes. Activity. It's, it's, it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday session. We call it Sunday session. Okay, this is crazy. Like, we were just driving through the main road in Onga, and there's like 12 
or more different bars. Yeah, exactly. And how many people like, live in Omaha? Maybe, maybe okay. yeah, maybe one. So like around a thousand, and there's like how many bars do you think there are in Onga? I think there is uh, more than uh, maybe 99 bars in Onga. 99? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. That's like one but bar for every like, 10 people. Imagine from the beginning of the street to yeah. the end, it's just bars. Okay, so like when we came to Namibia, we were told that Namibians love beer. Yeah. We want to just hang out and drink yeah, beer. Yeah, and like, we mostly love our own crazy. beer. <laughs> Today, Susan's dad woke us up and, and showed us how to let the goats out in the morning. And when we were there, he asked us if we wanted to buy the biggest goat. And we said we were interested. And so he said, all right, let's 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 negotiate later. And this should be an interesting negotiation process because I have very limited knowledge of the goat markets in Northern Namibia. The negotiations on the goat have began. Hopefully we can make a deal. Let's get this goat. Today's the big day. We are killing the goat. We're having the braai. I don't think either of us really want to slaughter this goat, but I think we both feel that as people who have been trying to eat less meat, but who still, still eat meat, this is something that we have to do. Like, I feel like every meat eater should have to do this. Yeah, and, no matter what you eat, right. you should know where your food comes exactly. from. Exactly, it should be a prerequisite. Like, you should have to see this first, and then you should decide whether you're gonna eat meat or not. Obviously. This will be our first time, so later today we will make that decision for ourselves. Yeah, it's really but, easy for, for us to <laughs> right. say this. It's us two and Susan's dad. He has the lasso, I don't know if that's what you call it, ready, and uh, we're gonna hold it down. We don't even know. We're, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. All right, peace. It's our goat. That's a good bite. Oh, snap. Oh, that's a that's some sharp, sharp horns. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling different. So step one was tie the goat up. Uh, tie it to the tree, there it is. Now Dino Shinge, Susan's father, is getting the knife to slaughter it. This is an emotional experience. So, yeah, one of us is gonna have to hold the horns, the other one the legs. I actually wanted horns, and now I, I switched up. Uh, well, depending on where the cut happens, I want the furthest away from that. So I'm, thinking, is, I'm thinking legs would be the better option. This is just sad. But I don't no. know if I'm gonna even wanna eat the meat after this. Matilano, you're fretful. You're fretful, we're almost done skinning the goat. Next, we will gut it. Stomach, intestines. Young Moses helping out. Thank you, Moses. I appreciate that, boy. <laughs> Executive decision has been made to bry this half that we see here, and then on the other side, this will go into the refrigerator for another day. I'm getting there. Welcome to the Onga Butcher Shop. <laughs> Got part of the thigh here, trimming off some fat. We are doing this shit, man. We are doing it. Esophagus. Not bad. Liver. That's the stomach, yeah. This is small intestine. Mm, not sure. Chewy though. Wow. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Really chewy. But good flavor. That'd be heart. Mmm. This is liver. Should we do the kidney? Going in for the kidney. Oh wow. I don't know about that one. Mmm. That's weird, I'm not gonna lie. I like it better than the liver though. I think this was the mystery meat. The finished product. Here it is. The smiley. So what's the analysis here? We we killed the goat. Mm -hmm. Its head is sitting right there. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're enjoying it. Yeah, that's better than the meat last night, actually. And it doesn't it doesn't gross you out the fact that we saw this thing die. I mean, we put the effort into killing it. 
skinning it, butchering it, makes you enjoy it more. It's right. not a feedlot where it's pumped with hormones and antibiotics. We know the goat now, like we have a greater respect for it. And we almost want to honor its life by enjoying every single morsel and using that meat to, to nourish us to continue on our backpacking journey. I'm at one of the most unexpected places on the planet right now. There's a Chinatown on the border of Angola and Namibia. Yeah, yeah. Who would have known? And we just checked out some shops. Now we're going to go get some Chinese food. Yeah. And then after that, we're going to cross the border into Angola. I am very comfortable eating chicken feet straight out of the boiled pot in Langa. We're on the Namibia-Angola border in Chinatown, and I see a chicken foot out of the package. I'm not so comfortable to eat. But and I'm he, like super intrigued. He wants to try it. So. I'm gonna buy it. We're about to try this packaged chicken foot. Nasty. I've already tried the boiled chicken foot in Longa and figured we gotta compare, right? You so, gotta compare. Yeah. Not, yeah. You know, I don't know what we're talking about. We Until here. you taste it and see how amazing it is, then you'll be asking oh for a bite. Oh my goodness, that's So, I don't know if you can see that. Oh. Rest in peace, rest in peace. Mm. <laughs> Who's next? No one's next. Angola. Angola. It means welcome to Angola. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, we here. Country number three. Hugh is unimpressed. He doesn't think this is cool at but all. But he's in Angola I think too. it's cool. I've never been to Angola before. This is the it first is time. Here. We are about to try some Mopane worms. Okay. Worms from the Mopane tree. Yeah. They're, they're from a tree? Yeah, they're from uh, But it's Mopane like a, it's an actual worm, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Try. One. Two, two, three, two, three. Yeah. Mm. I like it. Oily. Tastes like a chewy fish sort of. No, really? kind, kind of fishy. Good, Good enough, enough to try again. Yeah. So I'm taking Michael and, and Houston to Etosha National Park in Namibia. Woo! Let's go! Etosha! We're out here in Etosha National Park. Got a little water buffalo here. The zebra in the back, these guys can charge, so we gotta be careful. We just got done with a five day, six night stay with Susan and her family up in Onga. Such a unique experience that I'm so thankful we got to have. Now it's time to move on to Zambia. Until next time. We just found out that we're not done. We must first crack open the skull and eat the brains. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ay, ay, That's ay. it. You see? Oh, oh the wow. The brains. You see the blend is here? Oh. But I'm talking too. Yes. Yeah, you can see. The oh. blend is there. Be careful. The one is just here. The ones are from here to going oh, Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is the blend. Brain. Yeah, see? Yeah, you can eat. Yes. How is it? Mm. That is interesting.